If you would like to set up remote backups between two Synology NAS devices using, for example, Hyper Backup or Snapshot Replication, one option that can be used to create a connection between your NASes is OpenVPN. This setup worked great for one of my consulting clients, and I'll go over the OpenVPN setup that he used in this video. To begin, I'll start with an overview of the setup. As I mentioned earlier, the two Synology NAS devices were set up in remote locations. The primary NAS was set up at my client's home, whereas the backup NAS was set up at his office. For the OpenVPN setup, the server end was configured on the primary NAS, while the backup NAS was set up as the VPN client. This worked out great because he was able to configure port forwarding on his home router to access the primary NAS, but had limited ability to adjust the networking at his office. Backups were then set up using Hyper Backup and Hyper Backup Vault over the OpenVPN connection from the primary Synology NAS to the backup NAS. In this video, I'll mainly go over the details of setting up OpenVPN between two remote Synology NAS devices, and briefly go through setting up snapshot replication backups, which is my backup option of choice between the NASs. Let's get started with setting things up, and I'll start with configuring OpenVPN on the primary Synology NAS, which requires the VPN server package to be installed from the package center. Once installed, I'll bring up the VPN server, then under the Setup VPN Server section, I'll select OpenVPN. I'll then enable the OpenVPN server, and for this setup, the default options are fine, so I'll leave things as is and click Apply. This window regarding port forwarding and firewall settings pops up, letting me know that UDP port 1194 needs to be opened, which I'll make note of and click OK. We'll get to setting up port forwarding next. I'll also click on Export Configuration to download the OpenVPN configuration file that we'll make use of later in the video as well. Next, I'll configure port forwarding on my router to allow access to the OpenVPN server. This will forward external connections on UDP port 1194 to the internal IP address of my Synology NAS on the corresponding UDP port. In my setup, I also needed to configure a firewall rule to allow the port forwarding configuration to work properly. Your configuration and setting will depend on your router, along with if you have a firewall set up on your router or if you enable the firewall on your Synology NAS. In my case, the settings that I added were all that I needed to allow OpenVPN access to the primary Synology NAS in my setup. I'd also recommend setting up DDNS for the primary Synology NAS where the OpenVPN server is running, especially if you don't have a static IP address from your internet service provider. This is the case for me, and for this video, I'll be using a domain I have hosted with Google Domains for DDNS, which I've already set up. What I'll need to do is copy the DDNS credentials for the host name I'd like to use. Then I'll switch over to my primary Synology NAS, bring up Control Panel, External Access, then DDNS. Here I'll click Add, then for Service Provider, I'll select Google. I'll then enter in the host name username and password for the DDNS setup and click Test Connection. The test completed successfully, so I'll click OK to complete the setup. Now on my backup Synology NAS, I'll configure an OpenVPN client connection to the primary NAS. First, however, I'll unzip the OpenVPN zip file that was downloaded earlier and edit the VPN config file. For this setup, the only thing I'll change is the Your Server IP entry with the DDNS hostname I configured earlier. I'll then bring up the Network Control Panel from within DSM and click on the Network Interface heading. Here I'll click Create, then Create VPN Profile. This launches the Create Profile wizard where, under VPN Connection Method, 
I'll select OpenVPN by uh, importing a OVPN file. Under General Settings, I'll enter in a profile name. Enter in a username and password I'd like to use, which will be an admin account for this setup. Import in the VPN config file that I just edited, then click Next. On this advanced settings window, I'll only select the option to reconnect when the VPN connection is lost, then click Done. Now, if everything was set up properly, I should be able to select the VPN interface and click Connect to establish an OpenVPN connection to the primary Synology NAS. The status changed to connected, so it looks like everything was set up fine. Next, I'll briefly go over setting up a remote backup from the primary Synology NAS to the backup Synology NAS with snapshot replications. While I'm still connected to the backup Synology NAS, I'll install the snapshot replication package from the Packet Center. I'll then switch over to the primary Synology NAS and install the snapshot replication package as well. Once installed, I'll launch Snapshot Replication and bring up the replication listing. Here I'll click Create to set up a remote replication task to the backup Synology NAS. For the server IP address, I'll enter in the VPN IP address of the backup NAS, which can be found from the VPN server application under Connection Listing. I'll then click Authenticate to log in to the backup NAS. I'll click Next on this destination volume window and select the shared folder I'd like to replicate. I'll then click Next through the remainder of the Create Replication Task windows, taking the default options, being that this is mainly a demonstration on how to use OpenVPN between two remote Synology NAS devices, and lastly, Click Done to confirm the settings. After the task finishes loading, if all goes well, you should come up to this pop-up window confirming that the replication task was created successfully. I'll then click OK and we can see that the initial replication task is taking place. And if you'd like additional details on snapshot replication and hyper backup, you'll want to check out these videos listed here on screen. Also, if you'd like to support my work or hire me for a project, check out the links either here on screen or in the description below. Thanks so much for watching.